Hello everyone, my name is Yoshimitsu, and welcome to the Japanese lore of Dark Souls. As the title implies, I will be referring to the original Japanese text over the translated English text. If there are any discrepancies between the versions, I will always take what the original Japanese states as fact. I take this approach as many lore elements have been lost due to translation, and I'm hoping that I can bring some answers to long debated and unanswered lore questions and bring some new theories as well. Let's begin. In this video, I will be talking about Allfather Lloyd. I will begin with Lloyd's Talisman. Lloyd's Talisman reads, Talisman utilized by Allfather Lloyd's cleric knights to hunt down the undead. Blocks Estus recovery within a limited area. In the outside world, the undead are accursed creatures, and Lloyd's cleric knights are widely praised for their undead hunts. This blessed talisman blocks undead recovery, allowing the knights to fight with impunity. Based on Lloyd's talisman, the knights, who serve under Lloyd, hunt undead in the outside world. The term outside world is Hito no sekai in Japanese. Hito translates to human, sekai translates to world. Hito no sekai is the human world. The Lloyd Knights hunted the undead in the human world. And this term, Hito no sekai, is also the same world where the gold coins have value. Gold coin reads, Coin made of gold, with All Father Lloyd and his white halo shown on its face. Even coins of great value in the world of men have little value in Lordron, where the accepted currency is souls. Those who dream of returning to the outside world are fond of carrying these around. The world of men is Hito no Sekai in Japanese, the same term used in Lloyd's Talisman, which was translated as the outside world. It's likely Lloyd was living among humans, and I believe Thurland was the country where Lloyd lived. This is due to what is stated in the White Seance Ring description. It reads, A divine ring entrusted to the head bishop of the Way of White, an apostle to All Father Lloyd, uncle to Lord Gwyn. It grants additional attunement slots. The head bishop of the Way of White is the guardian of Law and Caste, and one of the great royals of Thurland. First, the title All Father is Shushin in Japanese and this word Shushin should be translated as either Main God or Principal God. Second, in Japanese, there are three ways to write uncle. One way are for uncles that are the older brother of one's parents. Another are for the uncles that are the younger brother of one's parents. And one is for non-blood related uncles. All three are pronounced the same way, which is Oji, and all three are written differently. Lloyd uses the one that is used for the younger brother of one's parents. This indicates he is the younger brother of Gwyn's parents or the younger brother of Gwyn's wife's parents. Third, the term head bishop is Koshisai in Japanese. Koshisai translates to high priest, not head bishop. And lastly, this ring is called Shirokyo no Shisai no Yibiwa. Shirokyo translates to way of white. Shisai translates to priest, and Yubiwa translates to ring. The white seance ring should be called the white priest ring. Not too sure where this word seance came from. But anyways, these high priests were given the thorough talisman, which reads, medium for casting miracles of the gods. This talisman is only granted to high-ranking Thurland clerics, has high miracle adjustment, which, thanks to divine protection, is not dependent upon faith. Based off the White Seance Ring and Thurland Talisman, the High Priest of the Way of White and Apostle to Lloyd were granted their position based on their royal bloodline and not their faith. Thurland is also a Way of White country. The character creation screen for Thurland Cleric reads, Features found in stalwart clerics. This statement is 
堅くなさで知られる聖職者の国、ソルロンドの面相、in Japanese。The Japanese description directly states, Thorland is a 聖職者の国。聖職者 translates to cleric or clergyman。国 translates to country。堅くなさ translates to stubbornness。Therefore, the character creation screen for Thorland clerics could be something like The face of the stubborn Thoroughlands, a country of clerics. Next, I believe Thoroughland should have been called Sol Londo. So I'm not saying the translation Thoroughland is wrong or anything, but I believe Sol Londo is more appropriate than Thoroughland. So I'll explain. Thoroughland is Sol Londo in Japanese, Anor Londo is Anor Londo in Japanese. New Londo is Shorondo in Japanese. All three use the term Londo, and yet Londo became Londo for Anor Londo and New Londo, but is Lund for Thoroughland. For consistency purposes, I believe Sol Londo would have been a better name for the country of clerics. And in Lordron, we meet four individuals who come from Thoroughland. They are Petrus, Rhea, Vince, and Nico. And one quick note I want to make regarding Rhea. She often states, Vera Knox. This statement is Hono no Michibiki wo in Japanese. Hono translates to flame, Michibiki translates to guidance. I believe this is a shortened version of what Dusk and Elizabeth state. They both state, May the flames guide thee, which is, Anata ni Hono no Michibiki no aran koto wo in Japanese. Note the similarity in the wording. Therefore, I believe Rhea should also state, May the flames guide thee, instead of Vero Nox. Now, Rhea can also eventually be rescued from the Tomb of Giants. One miracle that is obtained after rescuing Rhea is replenishment. Replenishment reads Common miracle among cleric knights, gradual hit point restoration. Beware of the cleric knight blessed with replenishment. For he shall not fall easily. And the same miracle replenishment in Dark Souls 3 reads Miracle, once cherished by cleric knights, gradually restores hit points. Replenishment is a relic of the old Lloyd faith whose cleric knights were unfaltering in battle. The item description confirms members of the Way of White who worship Lloyd use the miracle replenishment. The miracle replenishment directly states. It is a relic of the old Lloyd faith. This indicates the worship of Lloyd has ended by Dark Souls 3. And even the name Lloyd is somewhat lost by Dark Souls 3. In the days of Lord Drawn and Drang Lake, Lloyd's Talisman is still called Lloyd's Talisman. But in Lothric, it is called the Undead Hunter Charm. The Undead Hunter Charm reads Tool used to hunt down the undead. Block Estus recovery within a limited area. Used long ago by Lloyd's cleric knights on their undead hunts. Although All Father Lloyd is long forgotten by the Way of White, his hunts have lived on, and this charm allows one to challenge undead without fear of tenacious healing. The reason why Lloyd was forgotten was likely due to Karim overtaking Thoroland. The White Saiyan's Ring, worn by the High Priest nobles of Thoroland, Are called Saint's Ring in Dark Souls 3. And the Maiden series worn by Rhea of Thoroland is now worn by Irina of Karum. And both items have very similar item descriptions. The Clerics of Karum also state something in Lloyd's Sword Ring. Lloyd's Sword Ring reads Much time has passed since the worship of Lloyd was common in the Way of White. The clerics of Karim loudly assert that Lloyd was a derivative fraud, and the title of Allfather was self proclaimed. The statement, Lloyd was a derivative fraud, is Lloyd wa bokei ni sugizu in Japanese. Bokei translates to collateral relative, not derivative fraud. Collateral relatives include cousins, nieces, nephews, aunts, and uncles. The Karim clerics are not saying Lloyd is not uncle to Gwyn. They are stating because he is an uncle to Gwyn, he is a collateral relative, and therefore not in the position 
to assume the role of the principal god of the Way of Light. In the Design World interview, Mr. Miyazaki states, The Way of Light is very prominent in the human world, and it is the religion of Gwyn's Kinshin. Kinshin translates to immediate family or close relatives. This includes spouses and children. Lloyd is an uncle to Gwyn, therefore a collateral relative, not immediate family. This is why Karim Knights were denouncing Lloyd. Lloyd is not immediate family to Gwyn. He is the uncle of Gwyn. The only ones who could assume the role of Shushin, principal god, are the Qinxin, the immediate family of Gwyn. This would include his children and his wife. The white seance ring confirms that Lloyd is an uncle to Gwyn, and therefore is a bolke, a collateral relative. And again, the term derivative fraud is incorrect. The Karim Knights are stating Lloyd is not immediate family to Gwyn, but Lloyd is definitely the younger brother of Gwyn's parents, or the younger brother of Gwyn's wife's parents. The term Oji confirms he is uncle to Gwyn. Now I do believe Lloyd is a grey giant, and is an uncle from Gwyn's wife's side of the family. Gwyn's wife, who I theorize, is Kaitha, a giant. Now from here, I would like to discuss the giants within the Dark Souls universe, as there are many types. The Giants Who Guard An Orlando The giant skeletons we can encounter in the Tomb of Giants in the Karthus Catacombs. The giant blacksmith and Hawkeye Go. The giant slaves within Sen's Keep, the Cathedral of the Deep, and An Orlando, and also the giants that invaded Drang Lake. The oldest of the giants is Argo and the Judicator Giants of the Ringed City. Now these Judicators are also called Grey Giants. Their description states, A Grey Giant who existed since the Arc Dragon was found. The Giant used to be a Judicator working under the gods. The term Arc Dragon is Iwanokoryu, which I believe refers to the everlasting dragons mentioned in the opening of Dark Souls 1. The opening statement, a land of grey crags, arc trees, and everlasting dragons, is Hairo no iwa to taiju to kuchinu koryu bakari ga atta in Japanese. Hairo translates to grey, iwa translates to rock, taiju translates to great tree, kuchinu koryu translates to everlasting ancient dragon. And another interpretation could be based off of this is a land of grey rocks, grey great trees, and everlasting dragons. You see, I believe the grey great trees that existed along the everlasting dragons were the grey giants. The various giants throughout the series are different types of great trees, which all originate from the grey great trees, the grey giants. Giants have always had some form of connection with trees. Hawkeye Go is able to impart his emotions into wood carvings. The Hello carving reads, Head carved of arc trees by Go in his imprisonment. Go imparts an emotion to each and every completed carving, which helps him achieve personal enlightenment. And we also have this message near the storm ruler, only a storm can fell a great wood and the Storm Ruler itself is a Giant Slayer. The official message that FromSoft has left is directly stating Yorm the Giant is a Great Wood. And Great Wood is Taiju in Japanese. This is the same term used in the description for the Seed of a Tree of Giants, which reads, When the Giants fell, they grew into great trees. Death is not the end. For anything that has ever once lived remains a part of a great cycle of regeneration. The term Great Tree is Taiju in Japanese. Yorm is called Taiju. The giants of Drang Lake also turn into Taiju when they die. I believe that the giants we fight in Drang Lake are hollowed versions of the race of giants Yorm belongs to, both of which originate from Great Trees, the Taiju. From here, 
I will bring the discussion back to Lloyd, as I believe Lloyd is a Grey Giant. To begin, the Grey Judicator Giants and Judicator Argo summons Guardians to protect Princess Felionor, and as Argo directly states, by the King's decree. Lloyd also has governance over the Sword of Law. The dual charm reads, All five of Lloyd's knights lived in fear of his duels of judgment, in which verdicts were carried out by his Sword of Law. The English translation cut out the portion, no ken wo tsukasadoru, which states Lloyd governs or administers the Sword of Law. We also know he had governance over the Shield of Caste, based on Lloyd's Shield Ring and White Seance Ring. His Apostle is the High Priest of the Way of White, and is the Guardian of Law and Caste, all indicating Lloyd's governance over the Law. As Uncle de Gwyn, he likely was the enforcer of the Sword of Law and Shield of Caste using his Lloyd Knights. Both the Judicator Giants and Lloyd place a heavy emphasis on the Law. The name Lloyd means Grey in Welsh. And from all these connections, I do believe Lloyd is a Grey Giant, and could have been either a Judicator himself or the leader of the Judicators. And if Lloyd was a Grey Giant, this could explain something about the Cleric Armor Vince and Nico wear. Cleric Armor reads, Armor worn by the Warrior Clerics of the Way of White, who are famous for being unyielding in battle. It is rather substantial in size and weight, making its wearer look even bigger than he actually is. I believe the worship of Lloyd was so strong in Thoroughland, they wore armor to make themselves look larger to mimic the size of giants. And maybe the legendary weapon, the Grant, was also used by giants. The Grant looks like a giant mace, and it would be the perfect sized mace for a giant. Now before I end this video, I'd like to quickly discuss one more prominent character who I do believe is a giant, and that individual is High Lord Wolnir. Soul of High Lord Wolnir reads, Soul of the High Lord Wolnir, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength, used to acquire many souls or to transpose to extract his true strength. Lord Wolnir of Carthus sentenced countless souls to gruesome deaths, keen to outlive them all. Now the last statement keen to outlive them all is Yagate saigo no shishataru wo negatta toyu in Japanese. Saigo no translates to last of. Shisha translates to dead one. Negatta translates to wished for. Wolnir wished to be the last of the dead. And this statement is very similar in wording to one of the original lords, Nito, who I believe is the leader of the giants. Nito's lord soul reads, Soul of Grave Lord Nito, first of the dead. This Lord Soul was discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Grave Lord Nito administers the death of all manner of beings. The power of this soul is so great that it satiates the Lord Vessel, despite the fact that much of its energy has already been offered to death. First of the dead is Saisho no Shisha in Japanese. Saisho translates to first, Shisha translates to dead one. Nito is the first of the dead. Wolnir wished to be the last of the dead. Considering how Nito and Wolnir use similar wording descriptions, this makes me wonder if the size we fight Wolnir was his actual size. Both Nito and Wolnir have cloaks of death, and their body is comprised of multiple skeletons and bones. I do believe Wolnir was also a giant. Thanks for watching everyone. Please let me know what you think of my theory that Lloyd is a great giant in the comments below. I love reading and listening to other people's lore theories. And until we meet again in my next video, don't you dare go hollow.